So we're in Clovis, California. We just finished installing a faucet. Uh, Kohler is the manufacturer. The homeowner purchased the faucet. We just did the installation. Uh, one thing we did first is the um, shutoff valves are replaced. Those are quarter turn uh, stops that we put on. So quarter turn uh, to the right or clockwise and then back on. So both those hot and cold you can see over there. Those are brand new. So uh, that's good. Uh, the iron pipe nipples going into the wall are new as well. They're about four, half inch by four inch long. The other ones, when we spun off the old valves, the, the nipples came with it. So we just put new escutcheons on the cover plates, uh, new four inch nipples, and the shutoff valve. So that's our work right there. Please monitor for leaking any kind of anything. Just even weeping, a hint of moisture, we need to you know get after that. So it's tightened back in the wall and good. The supply lines to the faucet are integrated. Uh, came right right from the faucet manufacturer Kohler, so they come right out of there. The, there's a braided nylon hose comes down hot and cold, so that's hooked up. We did pull the spray head off of the faucet before we blew water through it, and then put the spray head back on so it doesn't get blocked up. So faucet installed, just a single hole mount, and uh, it's got a rubber gasket down here, or actually a, a plastic uh, spacer with a rubber gasket underneath it, so that's nice and sealed, nice and tight. Uh, the, the granite countertop looks to be pretty thin, so I wouldn't we really torque this around too much. Sink is integrated into the countertop, but when you get thinner countertop material with just such a tall faucet, any kind of movement, you can literally crack that granite, similar to what you've got going on right over here. That big crack right there. So soap dispenser came with it, mounted that. It's not full of soap. Just pull that guy out, fill it full, shove it back in, you're good. So that is the kitchen. And over here at the bar sink, same thing. Got two shutoff valves, and these are out of uh, Ferguson, so you've got uh, one, two, hot and cold. Um, the nipples did not come out of the wall, so we just left those in place. And then we provided uh, some 20 inch braided stainless steel supply lines. Those are 3 8 by half inch by 20 fluid masters, and we get those online at supplyhouse.com, so those are good uh, shutoff valves, good supply lines up here. Homeowner purchased this as well. Bought a sink, but the rough opening is about a quarter inch off. Uh, so you need some woodworking tools, no big deal, trim this out, set the new sink. Uh, instead we opt just to leave the sink in place, cut the old faucet out. This came with the kit, so it's the LK sink and faucet kit. So the faucet's still in the box, uh, the sink is still in the box, you can use that anywhere else. This is the faucet that came with it, I think it was 18 bucks, no big deal, that's mounted good. And again, we pulled off the aerator first before we blow water through it, just so we don't clog the aerator. No big deal, if it gets clogged, you just unscrew it, clean it out, and then screw it back on and you're good to go. So, hot and cold work in here. Again, same thing down here, if you would monitor this, just for a period of time, just like with the rest of your house, you wanna take a look and make sure the point, new points of connection, which are where the thread is, right there where the angle stop goes on, you've got uh, iron pipe stubbed out. So pipe up, Teflon tape, any kind of weeping, dripping, spraying, let us know, we'll come out and take care of it right away. Same thing, pointy connection where the hose connects to the shutoff valve. We wanna make sure that that stays dry as well. And then, um, you know, everything else should be good in here outside of that. This installation is done.